Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Laura and welcome. And for today's video, I am going to do a clothing haul on one of my favorite athleisure brands, Joa Brown. You may or may not have heard of them, they are still up and coming, but they did start around 2014. So I only recently heard of them about a year ago through social media, specifically Instagram. But ever since then, I did purchase a few pieces from them. Recently, I did buy new ones, so I will be showing you the new ones that I do have and a few of the ones that I already have so you guys can see how it wears over time and all that other good stuff. <laughs> I will also be styling them if you guys want to see how you could dress it up and have that chic look and that model off-duty type of vibe. Before we go ahead and start the clips, um, feel free to like and subscribe if you do want to see more content such as this or if you just like my aesthetic and style. I also have an Instagram account right over here. Please feel free to follow me on there too as well. If you prefer that platform, I do post once a week there too. Anyways, let's get started onto the video. I am very excited guys. Alright, so the first item I'm going to show you is this oversized jogger here. I did get it in a small medium and it is the color gray. I believe it's the classic gray French terry. Now it is a cotton and terry cloth type of material so it does have a nice cotton like fleece like material inside so it's soft inside um, and it's a midway fabric so it's good for fall, winter or those cold spring summer nights depending where you're coming from. You can easily throw on a crop top or style it with a blazer to have that smart, smart chic look. Um, but yeah, it is cinched at the waist, you do have an adjustable band. And it's also cinched at the ankle here. So keep in mind it's an oversized fit, just depending how you guys want it to fit on you. I, like I said, I did get a small medium. I probably could have gone a medium large if I really want that oversized fit, which I typically do, but I was worried about how oversized it may be. But overall, I do like it. It's definitely worth the money. The price is $138, so it may be steep for some people, but if you are looking to invest in a nice quality sweatpant, then I do recommend this. This is definitely a capsule piece that you can wear all year round. It will last you a long time. Now, if you're just looking for sweatpants to work out in, I probably wouldn't spend this much. You could easily get one in Pretty Little Thing, H&M, or even Victoria's Secret. But overall, I love it, and you'll see me style it in the next video, guys. So the second piece I'm showing you is this body tank in the color white. Again, I got a size small medium like the rest of my other items I'll be mentioning. It does have a crew, exaggerated crew neckline here and then a curved hem. So the curved hem is what I really liked about it. I did see it on a few people on Instagram and also just the model on the website. Um, I just love that detailing and how it just contours your body but it has a nice detailing by the waist area. Uh, you can easily style it up or down, wear it with jeans, sweatpants. Um, quality wise, the material is rib, it's soft and stretchy. Uh, do I think it's worth the price? It's $64. <laughs> so you guys tell me, it, it does sound expensive, but like I said, if you're not wearing this for working out and it's more athleisure and you take care of it, I think it could go a long way. Um, it's definitely a capsule piece in my eyes, but you guys tell me what you think. I do, if you guys are ever gonna buy anything from Joa Brown, I definitely recommend the sweatpants or the outerwear. But yeah, I love it overall, and that's why I purchased it in another color, <laughs> which I'll show you in just a bit.
So like I said, I did purchase it in another color, which is black, another staple color and piece where you know you can mix and match between nude colors, white, gray tones, or earthier tones like blue or olive, sage green. That's usually the type of colors I do wear. But yeah, I find it versatile. You can wear it with leggings, sweatpants, gray sweatpants, jeans as well, you know the whole thing. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted another color that I know will met. I could easily mix and match with and this one at least you know it won't get dirty <laughs> but yeah again a small medium guys Uh, that brings me to my next item this one is not new I bought this I would say last fall or last fall winter and this is the Empire joggers so this is a different style of jogger this one's meant to be fit but ironically I got a medium large in this because I wasn't sure how fit it would be <laughs> same with the oversized jogger so the sizing is a little off. They, I wish it did have extra small, small, medium, large, extra large on its own sizing, but they give you that variance of extra small, 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 medium, medium, large, which doesn't give you too much options. So I'm kind of juggling in between those sizes, but I actually do like the medium large on this. If I feel like if I got the small medium, it would be too fitted in my eyes and I wouldn't be comfy in it. I'm, I like the relaxed oversized fit. If you're gonna get sweatpants, you want it to have enough room for you. Um, some people like the fitted look, but I like this look here. It does have a cinching detailing at the ankle as well. Um, and it's oversized, well not too oversized, but it's more of a looser relaxed fit on me. Um, it does have an adjustable waist area here that's also hidden and it does have that Kind of like cotton terry material it is not as soft as my other sweatpants just because i've had this for a while now but it's still a good quality and i've had a few washes on this so you can see that it's still holding up pretty well guys do i recommend the sweatpants yes i do again i got this in a medium large you tell me what you think i mix it i mix and match with a few of the pieces that i already have so yeah you'll see it in the next clip guys and then the next two items I am going to show you is this notch tank. Um, the new one I got is in a taupe type of color. Honestly, on the pictures, I thought it was going to be a khaki type of green. It kind of looks green on camera though, but it's a taupe color. Taupe can go either grayish, green, or beige, so it's always in between those, if not a brown. But yeah, I like the color though. It's very versatile, it's earthy, it can match with black, whites, um, black, whites, grays, and even a nice beige color just depending on the hue. But yeah, that's why I got this color. I just liked it. And I like the a little more fitted. So this one is a small medium. I do have another piece like this right over here. This one I got a while back, but in a large medium. So this one was a little loose on me. This one I would probably wear working out or going for a long, medium intensity type of walk or hike, I would wear for this one. Um, this one here, I'd probably just wear for athleisure since it's more fitted. But yeah, you guys tell me what you think. For the price, I believe I got it in for $58. A little lower, but is it worth it? You guys tell me, it's definitely up to you. I like these pieces because I just wanna go for quality and definitely investment pieces I know I'll wear a long time. And yeah, <laughs> that's why. That's my reasoning behind it. This crew neck tank 
right over here and I got it in a white rib. Again, it's gonna be a small medium size. It's full length, so I decided I want to try out one of their full length tanks there since all I kept getting was crop tops and sweatpants. I also have outerwear from them too, but I didn't feel like it fit for this video just because we're entering summer soon, so um, maybe in another video if you guys do really want to see those items, I do recommend them. They are great quality, very thick, and depending where you're coming from, it will definitely keep you warm for fall and winter. Um, but yeah. Uh, back to this piece right over here <laughs> um, It's the same stretchy soft knit type of fabric here. It is it does feel thick though The lining here feels thick and I definitely feel like I could Prolong its longevity as long as I take care of it and mix and mash I honestly feel like this is a great capsule piece in your wardrobe You'll see in the next piece how I mix and match with different pants. You can wear it with sweatpants or you can wear it with jeans and just throw on some heels and a blazer and you're good to go. <laughs> this price here, I believe it's a, it is $64. So not too far from the cropped ones. So if you guys are gonna spend on a top, I probably recommend a full length if you guys aren't into a crop top type of vibe. Uh, I honestly like this top, but please keep in mind that it is a little bit see-through, so I'd recommend either a nude, white, or sticky bra, depending on your liking. But yeah, I like this piece, guys, and I know I will definitely wear this for a long time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below on your favorite piece or if you guys would even shop at Joa Brown. I have linked everything at the description box if you guys are interested along with the sizing. Um, any suggestions are also open as well or if you just want to say hi. And I also have an Instagram account right over here if you want to follow me on that platform. I do try my best to post at least once a week. Other than that, please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to stay connected. Anyways, I'll see you next week and have a great rest of your day. Bye!